Today we're going to be making a cookie cutter and we're going to be bringing it into Adobe Illustrator and then Tinkercad. So I've picked this image of a skull here of a silhouette. Um, it's one image. It's nice and clean. It's better than this one here because you have two images here. You have the jaw and then the rest of the skull. So I'm going to save this image as right click, save image as I'm going to call it skull cookie. Sorry, I want to end my downloads and I'm going to replace it. Then I'm going to open up Adobe Illustrator, file, open, and I want to bring in my skull cookie cutter. There we go. Now the first step what I have to do in Adobe is I click on my image, window, image trace. Make sure I'm clicked on my image. This advanced drop down is important. And I want to click ignore white and make sure that my mode is black and white. And then I'm going to click trace and expand. Okay, so that's the first step. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is effect. So I'm clicked on my image, effect, pathfinder, um, outline. There we go. Now what I want to do is making sure that my fill, when I hover over it, my fill is nothing. And my, if I hover over this, my stroke is black. For some reason you have to do the stroke twice. It changes it to white the first time and then black. So now I'm going to maybe put that up to say three points for my stroke. So it's a little thicker. You see if, if I make it too thick, it's pretty thick. So I'm going to keep that at three. I'm just going to type, type three in. Okay, I've got that. Now my next step that I'm going to do is go to, um, I'm going to ungroup it. And then I'm going to go to object, path, offset path. So object, path. And offset path, where is it? Offset path to 0 0.06, okay? And you'll see it makes kind of a double layer. So I've offset the path two different times there. Now we need two of these images. So I'm going to go file, export as, and make sure it's a PNG, it's not a JPEG. We're going to make sure it's a PNG. Okay, and we're going to call it skull cookie one and export it. There we go. Now, what I need to do another time is I'm going to go file, open, grab that same skull, so not skull cookie one PNG, the original file that I have, which was a JPEG. And I can just get rid of these. So file, open original JPEG, and it should be black. There we go. And we're going to go over those first few steps again. So window, image trace, black and white, making sure that I am ignoring my white, trace, expand. There we go. And ungroup it. Okay. Now I'm going to go file, export as, same thing. We're going to make sure that it is a PNG and click export. Now what I'm going to do is go into Tinkercad. Now I'm in Tinkercad here and I'm going to create a new design. I'm going to make sure that I name my design. I'll call it cookie cutter skull. Okay, now before I do that, what I need to go to is png to svg.com. And you're going to scroll down till you see here, and I'm going to choose a file. And I need to make sure that I'm getting my two PNGs to SVGs. So I got my first one. You only need one color. Generate. Download the SVG. So it's going to be called image to vector one. Then I'm going to choose another file, and it's going to be this one here. And I'm going to generate, download SVG, 
image to vector two. So now I went from PNG to SVG. The reason we had to do that is Tinkercad only brings in SVGs. Now we're gonna import those two files. So we're gonna choose one file here and import, wait till it loads. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the next one. So that's really big. So I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna keep it there so I'm making them at the same time. I'm gonna go import. Now the next one here, which one did I do? Uh, let's see. Nope, not that one. Vector one, there we go. Now they're both gonna come in, they're gonna be the same size. They're gonna be way too big, but that's okay. So if I go control A, I've got both selected. I'm gonna hold shift and just drag them a lot smaller and then bring them both to my artboard. Still a little too big. Now, when you make these, you want them about 100 mils, which is, that's probably pretty good, which is about four inches. So now what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to make this a different height. So I'm going to make this 18 mils high. So this is the white dot here. I'm going to make it 18 mils high. And then this one, I'm going to make it, say, three. So there's my part of my cookie cutter. Now that might be a little too big for a cookie cutter. Let's say, let's make it 15. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab both of those, align, center, center, group. And now I've got my cookie cutter. Now just looking at this, if you wanted to get a little bit more in depth, with your cookie cutter. Some options that you could do is you could make this outline a little bit bigger so you have something more to, to grab onto. The next thing that you could do too is all of these things, they're the same height. What you could do is lower those, but you'd have to go back into Adobe Illustrator and change each height when you bring it in. So you'd need multiple SVGs in here. But for this lesson, this is pretty much the, the cookie cutter that we're gonna have. So I hope you enjoy and have fun printing and have fun eating. Thanks everybody.